let's talk about a different type of queue, a priority queue. Now a priority queue, just like a queue, is a collection of items, all of the same type. And it allows the user to efficiently insert and remove elements. Elements will be removed by the minimum element. And it's based upon natural ordering or if you're using a comparator. A priority queue is an abstract data type, meaning no matter the language, the principles of a priority queue are going to be the same. Now we look down here and we see that we have a queue and it's not going to be the first in first out as a basic queue is. It's going to search for the minimum item. And you can see right here that 19 is the minimum item in this priority queue and it would be the first one removed. So the minimum item has the highest priority to be removed. You can change this using a comparator, but it goes based on natural ordering. And natural ordering for numbers is ascending order. At the top, I want to tell you that a priority queue using Java's priority queue class is not going to be implemented in the way that I'm about to show you. It's implemented in kind of an interesting way using a heap. And we're not really going to get into that because for this video, I just want to show you how a priority queue works, not necessarily the mechanics behind it. So I'm going to show you a basic implementation, but realize when you're actually using it in Java, it is implementing it different than this, but the principles are exactly the same. Let's say that I had a hospital and I had the curing emergency room and it was part of the hospital down here that we've created. And we have people entering into the emergency room and we want to treat their wounds based on a priority. And the person who's going to have the highest priority is the person with the most serious injury. So we can see that I add Sue to my priority queue and she is probably going to have a very low priority because she only has a minor cut. Joe comes in with a snake bite. It's a venomous snake, and so, my goodness, he needs to be moved up to the head, and he would be seen first. Well, a few more people walk in. Bobby, he has a broken arm. Well, a broken arm is more serious than a minor cut, but it's not as serious as a snake bite, so he would be put here. And then we have Sally, who comes up with the stomach flu. It's an awful stomach flu. Has to be treated quickly, otherwise it's going to spread to everyone, and nobody wants what Sally has, so we're going to move her in the priority. So you can see that this queue is not based on a first in first out as basic queues are. It's based on a priority and you can see once they're prioritized they would be able to go into the hospital in their prioritized order. Now priority queue has several different methods some of them are familiar to us, like add and offer. We also see pull and peak, and we're missing element and remove, but they're there because they're inherited from their superclass, and they didn't have to be redefined inside of this class. And you say, well, wait, remove is right here. Well, this is a different remove. This isn't removing an item in priority. This is removing an item from the queue. And you say, well, why would I want to do that? Well, think about the emergency room example. What if Sue got tired and said, look, I just have a minor cut. I'm going to go to another hospital that doesn't have such a long line. So you can remove someone or something from the queue without it having the highest priority. And then we have clear, contains, which searches for an object, and also size, which returns the uh, size of the priority queue. All right, let's go to the code and look at exactly how a priority queue works implemented in Java. Now that we've seen the abstract definition of a priority queue, let's look at Java and see how it works inside of here. Notice that you need to import the priority queue from the util package in order to use a priority queue. I've created a priority queue of strings. I've put them in a random order, B, C, F, A, L, D, E, and J. And I've used add and offer, do pretty much the same thing, adding them to the priority queue. Now, if you remember, a priority queue is certainly different from a regular queue or a basic queue in that it pulls things out via a priority. And the priority for strings is lexicographical ordering, or in our case, because I'm only I'm not using any symbols or spaces, we could just say alphabetic ordering. So A is going to be the minimum value and have the highest priority. Therefore, when we run this, we should see the head being A. And I've used both peak and element to view the head. 
And that's exactly what we see. Although it was not put in first, it was put in fourth, the minimum element is going to be the first element inside of here. What I've done next is I have gone through the queue and I have removed the items in the queue using the poll method. And you can see that it pulls it out in alphabetical order or lexicographical order. And we have A, B, C, D, E, F, J, L. And one more thing that I wanted to show you about a priority queue it does not use a straightforward structure to hold its information. So now when I remove this information, I'm going to run the project. And when I do, I want you to notice that before I remove the information, I print out the queue. And then after I remove the information, I print out the queue. Notice before I print out the information, it is not in priority order. After I remove the first piece, which is the minimum data, which is the head, it is still not in priority order. It would be B, C, D, and then E, F, J, L. And again, the head is always going to be the minimum value and therefore have the highest priority and be removed, but it's ordering it inside of an array according to a binary heap structure. And there is a way to look at this and tell which one is a root. The root is always going to be the minimum value, which one are children, which one are parents. But it's not very straightforward when you print it out. But it will be straightforward when it's printed out, as was the case up here. So when you just remove something, it's going to remove it according to the priority that is set. This is natural ordering, and it pulls it out straight. But when you look at the priority queue, it's going to look awfully odd because it's being stored in a binary heap and it is not going to print out in priority order. So the important thing to know about a priority queue is that it pulls things out via the highest priority, which is going to be the minimum value. And although when you print it out using the print line method, it will look odd, it is still going to pull the items out correctly by priority.